in this video, we're going to talk about uh, energy module, and, and we're also going to talk about um, shear module, uh, core, core module, as well as the feature module. And then we're also going to talk about uh, lazy loading. How is lazy loading going to help um, improve the performance of the application? So NG module basically manages the complex relationships between views and data providers. So views can be components, directives, and data providers can be services, guards, and etc. So um, to define their relationships in a one single file. Um, so inside the NG module, we have declarations. Declarations uh, basically uh, stores or declare all the directives, the components, pipes, that are only available inside this one, uh, inside this component, uh, inside this module. So if we don't want um, other modules to access those components, we will just declare it in the declarations. Um, and for the exports, uh, if we want to, if we want uh, other modules to access this, uh, the components or directives or pipes that are created within this module, uh, then we can put those um, components or directives. Uh, or, or views inside of the, uh, the exports. And for imports, we if we want uh, basically gain access to components um, or uh, yeah, like directives or pipes from other modules, we can import those modules inside the imports so that we can gain access to those um, components inside those modules, right? And providers basically register data providers like services, guards, uh, so that we can be able to uh, inject into our components within this module. And lastly, we're going to talk about, so the bootstrap. So basically bootstrap um, means that uh, anything that we put it in the bootstrap, we basically initially load this component. So now we know the basics of the NG module. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a feature module inside the profile section because this way we can be able to uh, keep everything that's related to the profile inside the profile module. Okay, so here we're going to use a uh, code ng uh, generate. So generate a module and that's gonna be inside the module folder. So if we click enter, it will generate a module file. And inside the module file, we have a common imports. This common import basically imports all the uh, basic Angular directives like ng4, ng if, and all that kind of stuff. So, so now what I did was I uh, bring in all the profo uh, profile item component and the profile list component from the app module to the profile module so that we can keep everything that's inside the, uh, that's related to profile inside the profile uh, future module. And also bring in the profile service from the uh, yeah so the profile.service.ts into the uh, profile module so you can see it inside the providers we have a profile service and then um, inside we also have a shared component uh, in the app folder we have a shared component uh, sorry not shared component like shared uh, module this shared module basically contains all the common use components uh, things like um, text input or um, components that we're often use in our application uh, for example spinner and basically you once you create a app a component or directives or pipes uh, you just have to bring it in, in the declaration as well as the uh, exports so that um, other modules can be able to use this uh, sh shared module uh, or components or or um, yeah like components that, that are de declared uh, or exports in the shared module and then here we also have the core module so this core module basically focus on dependency injection so things like services um, or uh, off guards and all that kind of stuff we're going to store it in the um, the core section so core section contains all the providers and it does not have any declarations or any exports basically just contains all the, uh, the providers so then what I did was I bring it in, bring the shared component and the core component 
uh, not sorry, the share module and the core module into the uh, app module so that other future modules in the application can be able to use them. So now we're going to talk about lazy loading. Lazy loading is very, very essential for uh, developing large scale applications. Uh, this will dramatically improve the performance of the application because it only loads the components um, if if that route is activated. So here we can see that usually, uh, traditionally, if we want to uh, define a route, uh, we'll just define it inside the app routing .module.ts inside the um, the, uh, the the routes, but for lazy loading, what we can do is we can first um, define the routes inside the, uh, the the feature module, which in this case is the uh, profile.module.ts, and then we basically define the routes uh, inside the profile module. And then we're going to bring in the router module dot for child, and we pass in the routes. Then what we're going to do is inside the profile list, I have a just um, some some random code basically display the uh, the the profile list as well as the profile items. Then inside the app routing, basically what I did was I create a uh, route called profile, and then it will load the children, which is the the profile. Uh, pro, uh, yeah, profile that profile module, which is the profile module uh, from here. So it will only load this module if that route is called. So let's say we have um, if we have an application where we have so many uh, routes, and this way it will not only like reduce the size of the file, but also be able to um, like only uh, yeah, like I said again, like only loads this. Um, module where it only loads those components if that route is called so this way it will um it don't it won't like load a lot of components initially so that's why i'm saying like it will be able to uh, improve the performance of the application so now what i did was i basically run the application another thing that i forgot to talk 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 to you about is inside the app uh, that component make sure to add the router um, outlet I think you already know this uh, if you have if you're experienced in Angular before. Now another feature, sorry, another thing that we have to add is inside the app.module.html, make sure to add the router outlet, and this way we can be able to navigate to the uh, desired um, route. So yeah, so this is it for this video. We covered um, so far uh, everything related to ng module. Uh, feature module, shared module, as well as core module, and then we also talked about lazy loading. Okay, 